Hello folks, very little is known about the upcoming Galaxy S25 series, but the current trajectory of Samsung's flagships allows for some educated guesses. For example, it is possible that Samsung's 2025 flagships will have a new Exynos chip and that they'll boast more advanced Galaxy AI features. Speaking of AI, a new rumor suggests that Samsung will use AI technology to improve the Galaxy S25 series battery life, whatever that means. Although not one thing this can definitely mean is that the company probably will not increase the physical battery capacities but will sprinkle it with artificial intelligence. The idea of using AI to increase battery life has been explored and put into practice before. As you may know, Samsung's AI power saving has been around for many years, before Galaxy AI came along. It improves battery life by learning from the user's patterns and optimizing background tasks. However, this new rumor suggests that Samsung's upcoming AI-powered battery saving system will be based on new concepts. It won't improve battery life by limiting CPU and GPU performance or optimizing background tasks. Sounds a bit unreal and magical, so we'd recommend taking this rather sketchy rumor with a pinch of salt. There could be some truth to it, in that Samsung's existing AI power saving mode could see further improvements next year. However, it's hard to imagine how any improvements could happen without clever performance throttling or background task management. In any case, the rumor claims that the new AI battery saving system will allow the Galaxy S25 Ultra to gain roughly 5 to 10 percent battery life, which is nothing to sneeze at. Samsung started using AI more extensively this year. The Galaxy S24 series was the first to adopt Galaxy AI and the upcoming Galaxy Z6 foldable phones are expected to bring their own improvements to the system. Samsung is betting on AI and hopes it will help it gain market share, so it is logical to assume that the Galaxy S25 series will be even more of an AI phone than the S24. Samsung received a lot of flack for its subpar Exynos chips over the years years, but the company seems to be improving. The Exynos 2400 is a lot better than previous Exynos chips, and AMD helped Samsung achieve this feat thanks to its pretty powerful GPU. However, Samsung could ditch AMD for its in-house GPU for the Galaxy S26. According to a report from pretty reliable tipster Roland Quant, Samsung is developing the next generation Exynos, maybe renamed later, chip, which carries model number S5E9955 and has an AMD RDNA-based GPU. Next, the South Korean company is reportedly aiming to release its own smartphone processor for the Galaxy S26, which will reportedly have its in-house GPU. This means Samsung will ditch AMD GPUs for its own GPUs. Samsung is reportedly building a pretty powerful and efficient processor for the Galaxy S25. It would be fabricated using Samsung's second-generation 3 nanometers process node. Rumors claim it is such a major improvement compared to previous chips that Samsung could even use a new name and discontinue the Exynos branding. The company seems to have created a separate team of over 1,000 engineers to work with the system LSI team on co-development and optimization. If the company could achieve its goal, it would be a huge moment. Making a smartphone chip is extremely difficult. Apart from Apple and Huawei, Samsung is the only other brand that has been able to make smartphones and design chips inside them. In fact, Samsung is one step ahead of those firms. It can even manufacture the processors it designs. Apple and Huawei can't do those things. It can even design and manufacture RAM, storage, displays, batteries and camera sensors using phones. However, Samsung's in-house smartphone processors haven't been very good. Apple, MediaTek and Qualcomm are far ahead in terms of overall performance and efficiency. If Samsung can outdo even one of those rival brands, it will be a huge accomplishment. It can then bring more vertical integration, better features and longer software support to its phones, smartwatches, tablets and other devices.